ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by a special guest today. Her name is Charlie. In my next life, I'm coming back as a dog. You just get all the love. Welcome. Oh. I, you were asleep. I have to film. You're a bit smelly. You need a bath. Charlie, I'm sorry. I need to film. I know, Baba. You got bad breath. <laughs> my dog is the size of me. me welcome back to my dog look how big you are today's video is going to be a little bit different if you missed my last few vlogs i have recently been in london traveling and as you can tell from the title of this video i don't know what the title is at the moment but in my head it's something along the lines of getting back on track getting out of a rut what to do when you feel a bit all over the place and that is me right now i'm also going to put a timestamp on the screen for when the tips start because if you don't care about me and you're just here for the tips that's so fun i want to keep it completely real with you guys i tried to film the weekly vlog welcome back and i just felt so uninspired so unmotivated and i just did not want to film and i just honestly had a bit of a breakdown and i figured that going away on that trip and coming back i would feel super excited to film a weekly vlog again and i was not but it is only monday i did get back on thursday night i've honestly probably just got the post holiday blues you know I just kind of feel a bit flat after you go away on a holiday but i have kind of been feeling this way for a while where i just haven't been really excited about the weekly vlog and i think that's natural because i have been doing it for so so long it literally like anything in life the more you do something the less you're going to be excited about it so it only makes sense also i just want to say there is nothing wrong with feeling unmotivated feeling stuck feeling like you're in a rut there is nothing wrong with that and it's natural to feel that way we as humans it's just you can't keep going and going and going and going and never hitting any bumps in the road that's just very unrealistic and i feel like a lot of people are in the same boat just from what i've seen on different socials i feel like a lot of people are feeling very unmotivated that is almost the theme of 2022 so far which is really disheartening because i feel like we all came into this year being like 2022 is going to be our year and it seems to not be that way for the people that i've seen which is sad <laughs> I feel like the biggest thing for most people when they go away on holiday or if they've been feeling really unmotivated with the gym specifically is like how do you get motivated to get back into it or to start even so on my trip I didn't work out at all I think I went over two weeks without working out which for me is the longest I've gone in a very very long time in my head I thought yeah I'm gonna work out at the hotel gym and it's gonna be fine no I think by the second day I was like yeah I definitely shouldn't have brought any workout clothes because I'm not going to work out. And that is so fine. Honestly, sometimes your body just needs a complete break. And it's honestly made me so excited to kind of get back into the gym. But if you are lacking that motivation and nothing excites you, maybe try and change your mindset around it. Try and be excited about starting from a new place, whether that's starting from the beginning if you're a beginner or if you've had some time off like me. And even though in my head I am kind of nervous, which I have had one session back so far and it was really hard and part of me is like oh my gosh that was so so hard you've lost some fitness you can flip that and think even if I'm not at the level that I was it's exciting to try and work back up to that level it's a challenge almost there's actually a new challenge starting at my gym so I think I'm going to do that and I'm super excited about that I haven't been in a place where I've wanted to do anything in that regard but I'm excited to now and I think that's because I had that necessary break and then at the end of the day there is a certain level of discipline that has to come into getting back into something if you're not really wanting to motivation and discipline it's been said so many times but they are not the same i am very rarely super motivated to go to the gym every single day very very rarely sometimes you just need to kick up the backside and just get into it it's only gonna get easier every single time you do it and start slowly i for one took it so easy when i went back to the gym i was not pushing myself because if you push yourself too hard in the beginning you're not gonna want to go back so start slowly when I very first started my fitness journey I would go like literally one day a week then two days a week then three then four and I slowly built up to going regularly <laughs> So on the flip side, if you haven't had a break from the gym, but you're kind of feeling like you're really bored with working out, 
I've definitely gone through phases like this before and you're just not excited about working out anymore. That is your body letting you know that you need to shake things up. You need to change your type of movement or add things in to do. So make it fun. I know I haven't done it in a while, but I love boxing. I need to get into it again because it was such a fun way to shake up my regular workouts, which I still really love. And I always get questions to film at the gym, but because I do group fitness, it's a little bit hard. I do try and do it every now and then. My group fitness is literally my favorite favorite thing ever. I love it so much because I get to socialize. It's always different. I don't have to think about it. Maybe try and do a dance workout on YouTube. I know there's a few of those on there, which would be super fun. I also saw a TikTok where you can do like walking on a treadmill to certain songs. So I think it's like a Doja Cat playlist. So you kind of walk in the, the beats of the song so you go faster and slower and make a cool workout playlist. I have a playlist on my Spotify called Songs to Play at a Party. I definitely should make one for working out specifically, but I feel like my Songs to Play at a Party would be the perfect workout playlist because that's the kind of music that I listen to anyway. And of course, probably my biggest motivator to get excited about the gym is cute gym clothes. This part, are you good? This part of the video is sponsored by Gymshark. Gymshark very rarely do sales and they don't do discount codes. So when there is a sale, definitely want to jump on it. So the sales was a so the sale is going to start on the 26th of May at 6pm Australian Eastern Standard Time and they're going to have up to 60% off selected items. So I'm going to quickly hand it over to Future Connor and I'm going to show you my favourite bits from Gymshark that will be included in the sale. I was lucky enough to visit the Gymshark HQ when I went to the UK. It was so, so cool. Like, whoa. I almost have to stop myself from wearing these exclusively to the gym. I need these in every colour. I know they came out with a grey and I need to get my hands on it, but the Adapt animal phenomenal if you're gonna pick up anything from this sale pick up some of the adapt animal leggings or shorts they are so comfy they're a really good length like they are a cycling short so when you first put them on let me show you that is what they look like they look quite long and i always get questions there's someone in my house i've seen quite a few tiktok videos explaining how to do this as well this is what they look like when i don't situate them I would not wear them to the gym like this. Obviously you can do what the heck you want. So basically what I usually do is just hike them up. But I did see Millie on TikTok. What did she do? She like pulled them way up like this and then folded them down. Oh, like that. And then you also kind of pull them up the bum. And then I have a very short torso. It just depends. Sometimes I like to fold it over like this. But that is what you can do to make them look a bit shorter. I think I prefer just doing what I normally do. So I usually just do these ones. Hack them up. Oh, do a squat. I'm actually quite sore from yesterday. And then I kind of pull them up a bit more. Maybe fold them down. And that's kind of how I wear them. And then because they are a cycling short, they don't ride up which I really, really like because shorts normally ride up on me, but these ones don't and they stay in place. I love. If you were gonna get anything from the sale, get these shorts. Got the yellow, the black. Feeling fussy, walking in my Balenciennes. Trying to bring out the fabulous. Cause I don't give way too much. I'm gonna need like two shots in my car. And then an oldie but a goodie, adapt camo. This is probably my most worn pieces from Gymshark because whenever I don't know what to wear to the gym, this is such a go-to. I freaking love adapt camo. Such a classic. And the pink ones are also super cute as well. Vital Seamless, another classic, like another just go-to solid Gymshark type. This is what they look like before I situate them. This will also be in the sale. This is one of my favorite styles. It's the ruched sports bra. This is in the baby pink color. This is in a size small. These are in an extra small. This color combo is so cute. I love it. There's also going to be some pores in the sale. This is like the pores crops, which I just wear for like lounging around the house. They're so comfy and really, really flattering. I love the neckline. These are the pores shorts in gray. There's definitely a lot more in the sale, but those are my top picks. Adapt animal, adapt camo, vital seamless. Those are... I will leave everything linked down below. They are affiliate links, so I do earn a small commission when you shop through those links, which I'm always super, super grateful for. So remember, 26th of May at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> All right, another thing that helps me get back into the gym specifically or makes it a little bit easier, you can also kind of apply in other ways, but it's the same kind of concept. And that is having a time frame, but more of an imaginary time frame. So for me, starting kind of like a fitness challenge is a six week thing. You're like, okay, I've got six weeks. 
to do what I want to do, achieve these goals. Usually by the end of the six weeks, you're kind of already in the lifestyle anyway, and it helps you just continue going on rather than kind of looking at the whole thing and going, how on earth am I going to get back into my fitness lifestyle? I feel like when you give yourself a time frame, give myself one week, you're like, I can do that. It's only one week. And I feel like it's a lot less overwhelming than trying to look at the bigger picture. Same thing when it comes to kind of to-do lists or organizing anything in life. When you give yourself a time frame or when you itemize things, you can attack it one day at a time or you can attack it one project at a time, you know? Like this morning when I was feeling so overwhelmed with what am I gonna film? I'm not feeling excited about my weekly vlog. What I can do is sit down and plan out videos so I know what videos I wanna film. It sounds so simple and so obvious, but I don't know, working for myself and just being alone, I don't have colleagues to bounce off and ask them for help. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. This also can be really helpful when it comes to cleaning your spaces. And what you can do is set a timer on your phone for however long, five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, where you're like, right, for this half an hour, I'm gonna clean. And you'll be amazed how fast and how easy you can clean things in that time frame when you put your mind to it, because you know, it's only 10 minutes. But sometimes when you go, oh my God, my room is so messy, I can't be bothered to clean it. Whereas if you think, okay, let me just do as much as I can do in five minutes. And you'll be amazed that you can probably clean the whole thing in five minutes. You know? Okay, slight location change because I have to charge my camera and the cord is not very long. So, all right, so another thing that helps me get back into routine is actually kind of working out what that routine is. For me personally, I kind of need to create a new morning routine. I have a loose morning routine and that's kind of the one that I show on my channel, but it's not very consistent. And I think that's something that I'm missing in my life because my job is kind of inconsistent in itself where it's it kind of looks different day to day having something that is the same every single day is very important so like for me that's going to the gym most days at like a specific time that's the same and I like look forward to it but I think what I really need to do now is create a more consistent morning routine and I think what I would love that to look like is kind of waking up making my bed straight away I did that this morning and it almost tells my brain that right we're gonna have a productive day and it gets me going straight away if you're one of those people that never and make their bed just try it I used to never make my bed and then I don't even know how many years ago I just started doing it and it honestly it's a really good way to kind of tell your brain the day has started let's do this so maybe sit down and try and plan out what your ideal morning routine would look like obviously if you have a job with set hours you can kind of plan how that would look like and it's gonna look different for everyone depending on what you do for me I think what I would love is waking up at a time that's actually not too early in the summertime definitely love waking up super early but as it's getting darker in the mornings now I feel like it's almost more beneficial for me at least to sleep in a little bit longer and get up at a time that's maybe not so early so I think for me between 7 and 7 30 is like ideal which is quite a bit later than 5 30 which is the time that I normally wake up it also kind of just depends on when Charlie wakes me up I also really want to get into the routine of going for kind of like a quick walk or more so walking Charlie first thing in the morning I usually walk her kind of in the middle of the day or in the afternoon but like I said, it's about creating habits and a consistent routine. So I think walking Charlie in the morning and then kind of coming back, showering, getting into work, and that'll be my morning routine. One thing that's very different is I don't really work out in the mornings anymore. I'm definitely working out in the evenings now, which is very weird for me. <laughs> Another thing that I touched on briefly, but I want to talk about again, is try not to be too hard on yourself. I feel like I'm being very hard on myself at the moment that I'm, you know, expecting myself to feel a way that I'm not. And it's almost scary to not really know what direction to go in. I think that was the biggest thing. I was just kind of like, oh my gosh, why aren't I feeling creative? This is really scary because I have to film videos because this is my job. And Obviously, I don't want to disappoint you guys. So I also have to remember at the end of the day, I am human as well. And it's important to just look after yourself and make sure you're filling your cup up. I feel like recently I've been better at it. And like my trip away was kind of one giant me filling my cup up because I really, really needed that. But just the little things, as cliche as it sounds, you cannot pour from an empty cup. So please make sure you're doing the things that bring you joy and that are for you, whether that's reading, listening to music, going for a walk, spending time 
time with friends. Seeing my family is a big one. I never really vlog when I'm around my family because they don't particularly want to be on camera, but I always feel super happy when I'm around my family. And I do see them quite often actually, which I'm very, very grateful for and I'm very lucky for. And then in turn, it makes me happier. It gives me the serotonin and that then kind of all leads into feeling motivated to do things. And you know, it all kind of spirals on, if you know what I mean. Of course, it goes without saying, eating healthy meals, you know, feeling your body right is a huge one into just feeling good overall. Also, a big one that I need to check myself with. I need to get off my phone. This one's almost like a catch-22 for me because my phone is part of my job. You know, Instagram is part of my job. However, I think the amount that I'm on my phone is not good. <laughs> Just mindless scrolling, I think definitely needs to be removed from my daily life, which is hard because I truly feel like I'm a bit addicted to my phone and breaking an addiction is always hard. So that's one that I definitely think will help me just focus on tasks because sometimes you do just need to kick yourself on the backside and just work there is a line between just being a bit lazy which we're allowed to be a little bit lazy sometimes but you know if you are feeling like you're in a rut or you're feeling like you're so unmotivated maybe think am I unmotivated or am I just being a bit lazy it's a fine line <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to leave it there. If you guys like this video, I could do a part two. Please comment down below what your favorite tips are for, you know, whether it's getting back in the gym, getting out of a rut, whatever it may be. I'm sure we'd all love to hear. Thank you so much again to Gymshark for sponsoring part of this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did because I haven't filmed a video like this in a while. As always, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you're on the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Every day.